Hello everyone, my name is David Edgar, I'm the host of Heart and Hand, the Rangers podcast and I'm joining you tonight to discuss Rangers' very, very disappointing 2-2 draw with Aberdeen at Ibrox tonight. It has been an incredibly emotional week for Rangers fans and to be honest that's why I actually took a bit of time to, to calm down because I think when you're raw emotionally and I think we all are as Rangers supporters that uh, you can say things that maybe a wee bit overraw that, that, that you didn't mean and I know that after the match I was just incredibly angry whether that's fair or not I, I, I would concede probably not but I was just so disappointed in the performance that the players put in tonight the fans were magnificent in their tribute to Walter Smith um, the Union Bears did a TIFO that, that brought tears to my eyes and um, to hear the crowd singing Walter Smith blew my army um, to see the tributes outside, to place a, a, a shot from a, those of us here at Heart and Hand, it, it, was, it was incredibly emotional. And unfortunately, the players um, couldn't put in a performance to, to send everyone home happy. Rangers have got into this terrible habit of starting games awfully, and the first 20 minutes again tonight were atrocious. Um, first of all, playing ourselves into bother from our own goal kick, leading to the first Aberdeen goal, and then... Nobody marked, or James Tavermere in particular, losing his man um, for a goal for 2-0. And at that point, you were thinking, my goodness, this is like 2019-20 all over again. And to be fair to the Rangers team, they, they dragged themselves back into it, Tav making up for it with a wonderful delivery for Alfredo to head home for 2-1. And, and at that point, I was fairly confident that, that, that we would stage a comeback victory. But in the second half, although we huffed and puffed, we very rarely looked like knocking the house down. And in fact, it took a penalty when... David Bates, formerly of this parish, grabbed Fashion Sakala's shirt in the box. He did. It was a penalty. It was a, a good spot by John Beaton, and that's not a phrase I've used that often over the years. And uh, Tav dispatched it for, for two each. But even at that, I don't think we really troubled Joe Lewis and the Aberdeen goal often enough. And this is the issue. This is happening far too often. It's the same things. It's the same thing. Starting really tepid, needing to go a goal behind. That's eight times this season that we've gone behind. Last season, the whole of last season, we only went behind the matches four times. We're giving ourselves a mountain to climb each time we take to the field, and we can't keep doing that. It's costing us three home draws in a row, or sorry, three out of four. Um, six points completely thrown away, and and they have been thrown away because against Motherwell and against uh, and against Hearts, we should have been out of sight, and we weren't. And again, tonight tonight was maybe a point gain because, as I say, Rangers were so bad in that opening. And there needs to be changes. The team looks stale. Uh, it needs freshened up. And obviously we can't do that in the transfer market until January. So it might be a case of looking at what we have in the squad. Guys like Nathan Patterson, Scott Arfield can come into the team. The concern is still there about whether Ruth and Morelos function well on the same side. Tonight, I felt for some of the players at the back because they were looking up for movement and there was none. Um, I know that the players last season had this incredible emotional rush of going for the, this huge, this, this holy grail and achieving it. And there's been a bit of a come down, but we're you know, coming into November now and we're still getting these same insipid performances. Rangers, you would think even once or twice would have gone out this season and played really well and won by three or four goals and we haven't, we haven't at all. We're getting by and I think the fact that Rangers are still top of the league should be much further away. That's our baseline. That's when we're playing badly. So of course it's exciting to think, well, when we click, but the longer it goes without clicking, we can't just assume that it's going to happen. The manager spoke about knowing that things need changed and, and what he's got to correct on the side and having to go away and work on that. Um, but we need to see this. We need evidence of it sooner rather than later. So hugely disappointing night, with the exception of the fans' tribute to um, the father of the Rangers family. And it was a, an enormous loss to the world of football, but keenly felt by all of us at Ibrox. And um, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it has not been a good week. All right, folks, I'll talk to you again on Sunday after Rangers take on Motherwell. Until then, stay safe and have a good week. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.